Okay, Google Map V3 homepage widget. This widget goes in the front top banner section widget area, which I have it in here already. Now there's only two options in the actual widget here, which is the width and the height. I've changed this for from 940 to 960 for the styled child theme and um, because it needs that wee extra bit of space to line up with the, the menu there. So that's that is the 960 pixels. If it's a wee bit short, just go into the widget and change it to 960. Um, but it's 940 in the standard theme, so just so you know. Now this is the widget, standard Google Maps widget with your markers and you can click on them. I'll show you the details. You also have the full screen button here. And you have this wee section over here with the tick boxes that are all unticked at the moment. I have them all unticked and then if I want to, if, if they are all unticked, everything will show and then you can simply filter by, say I just, just want attractions. I just have one box to tick and they're all there. Rather than having them all ticked and having to untick them all just to show attractions. Um, you can also minimize this to get it out of the way while you're browsing. and Maximize it again. You also have this keywords box here. Um, which will limit it to... It will search for title or keyword in there. So let's see if we can find find one. Uh, let's search for festival. Should bring up a few listings. To initiate the search, you just hit enter. It'll bring up the listings. There we go. A few listings in here. You can type in an exact uh, title, and it'll also find it as well. And you can switch between satellite view, with labels, without labels, your map. You'll note here you don't have the street view option here and also if I try and scroll down the page it doesn't zoom in or zoom out. Let's show you where the settings are for that. Uh, they are under design settings and map settings. Wish to enable the scroll wheel zoom on main map. Now if I tick that and wish to enable street view on main map. Let's tick both of these for now. Show you how that works. Let's go back, refresh the page. Right, now if I try and like scroll down the page, it'll actually zoom out or zoom in. And we also have the Street View wee guy we can pull in here. Just so you know, you can enable and disable that and uh, also use that Street View with full screen, which is awesome as well. And you can close that Street View down with the VX here. Now, I prefer that disabled because the first thing you do, you go to the pages, you try and scroll down the page, and if you're scrolling down here, you'll end up getting stopped and zoomed out. So some people might like it, so that's why we've left it there as an option. And also the street view. I suppose we can leave that. And now let's talk about these category boxes here. Now there's two ways to work this. You can either have it set. Uh, by the default city and it will use the default city for every city and every region country or you can set it individually per region country city or neighborhood um, let's show you where the set the, that setting is map category settings uh, wish to use the default city for all settings now I have that ticked so it will use the default city under manage cities for all them tick boxes but we'll show you how to work it. Also you have this other option here, Claps Subcategories. Now this option will collapse the subcategories under its child categories, so let's tick that and show you how that works. Hopefully we have some subcategories in here. Give that a re refresh. See now we have Food and Nightlife and underneath it we have Restaurants as a subcategory, which you can individually tick. That's how that is. But you can also show this uh, child categories by itself as well. So um, let's go into manage city. Let's look for our default city. Default city here is Philadelphia because it's got a one there. It's default. 
Now, these are the checkboxes that are selected. So if I just wanted to show attractions, events, so oh, hold on control, events, food and nightlife, restaurants, hotels. Let's just show them ones. These are the ones that are going to be ticked over here. So they are already highlighted and we'll click submit. Now it should show the ones that I've selected and they should be ticked as well. There we go. That's just the ones I selected and they're ticked. And let's go back in there and show you how to untick them. You can select just one category to be ticked as well and that'll just load, see if I sh just do attractions. Go back, refresh. Now the map will load with just the attractions loaded and then we can tick other categories to load or unload. Um, now some people don't, might not know that to get it all unticked you have to hold down control and then click on the one that's highlighted and that'll untick it. So now if we submit that, nothing should be ticked. Let's refresh. Now just have them categories and none of them are ticked so by default it'll show them all because there's no point in having them up with nothing on it. And then if we tick attractions it'll filter just the attractions. Uh, and as I said that uh, option in general settings will use the default city for all the uh, con different countries but you can set it per city, per region. So if we went into Glasgow the options disabled just now but then if I go to design settings let's open in a new tab for quickness uh, map category settings if we untick that box save it go back here refresh we'll now have the options appear so you can set this individually for this category as well and I think that's it for the home page map. Um, we went over search and minimize. Satellite view, labels, normal Google Maps things. And that's it for the home page map.